At one point or another, you might have asked yourself, am I an extrovert or an introvert? It's not always an easy question for some. Some feel it all depends on the context or how they're feeling that day. If you're one of those people, odds are you're an ambivert, which is somewhere in between being an extrovert and an introvert. Here are the 11 signs you're an ambivert. Number one, in general, you enjoy meeting new people, but in the company of familiar faces. Ambiverts enjoy meeting new people, but like doing so with people they already know in situations like classmates meeting a new student, meeting a new coworker at work, or meeting someone through a friend. Number two, when people address you during conversations or one of your interests come up, you're happy to join in, but you also don't mind being in the background listening to other stories. Ambiverts tend to be passive in conversation, but will join in when addressed or a subject they like comes up. Number three, you enjoy spending time with friends, but it can be exhausting if it's a long day. Extroverts tend to feed off the energy of spending time with others, while introverts can find it exhausting pretty quickly. Ambiverts can find it exhausting as well, but not as quickly as introverts. Number four, being assertive and clear about what you want can be a challenge, but if you put your mind to it, you can do it. Being assertive can be daunting for both ambiverts and introverts, but with enough willpower, ambiverts can do it. Number five, you can be the life of the party for a certain amount of time and really enjoy yourself. But when you reach a point, your energy drops and you kind of really want to go home, which leads us to number six. When you reach that point of energy drop, you find yourself quietly observing what's happening around you and becoming more of an observer of the party. Number seven. Both the things that show you're probably an introvert articles, as well as things that show you're probably an extrovert, are relatable to you. If you find yourself reading the articles and relating to bits and pieces from both, you're probably an ambivert. Number eight, you find yourself needing days to be alone and recharge, but too many days like this leave you craving social contact and feeling down. Like introverts, ambiverts need downtime from socializing, but like extroverts, too much downtime and they start craving interaction with others. Number nine, you tend to balance out the energy with your company. For instance, if you're with someone who is chatty, you tend to be quiet, and if you're with someone who's quiet, you tend to be chatty. Number 10. While you might not be the most extroverted person in the room, you do notice social cues some others tend to miss. You might not be participating in everything, you could still read social cues from the others around you. Number 11. In certain situations, you like the attention, but in general, you don't like the spotlight. In live theater terms, you like to be in the audience most of the time, but there are some times you would like to be the lead on stage. Those were the 11 signs you're an ambivert. Where do you fall in the extrovert, ambivert, and introvert spectrum? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe to see more videos from Psych2Go.